Okay, for the next step, we're going to create a texture for the boxes, uh, the crates, but rather than just use a color for these, we're going to use an actual image file, um, as you would see in computer games, for instance. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to frame up one of the boxes. Uh, yep, that'll do. And I'm going to clear the work area by going to graph, clear graph. Okay, now we're ready to create this texture. So the first thing we're going to do is create a Lambert because these boxes aren't going to be reflective. There we go. And I'm going to rename it Create and then I'm going to put an M after it. There we go. <clears throat> and now, rather than just picking a colour here, uh, we're going to assign a file to be the colour. So to do that, you click on this little checker box to the right of colour and that opens this following window. Okay, and from here, every time you open it, you should see up at the top, File, that's what we're going to use. So if you click on File, it then opens this new part of the Attribute Editor that says File 1, which is exactly what I want. And in that, you can see Image Name, and that's where you're going to load your image from. Now, <clears throat> this is important. I've put my image already in a specific folder of the project, and you need to make sure all your image files go there as well. So Source Images. I've added my create texture to and all your image files for your texture should go in this source images folder of the room project. The reason for that is if you move it to a different computer um, and forget to set the project um, or if you need to take all the project together, Maya will automatically know once you set the project to room that in the source images folder for that room um, that's where everything's going to be regardless of what computer you're on or what um, user account you're using or anything like that it will always know so that's really important so make sure you put it in the source images folder okay um, to get the crate texture for this exercise if you follow the link provided with the video um, then you'll be able to get all the textures that are used in this um, exercise and add them accordingly so um, what we are now going to do is Oh, where's my attribute editing on? There we go. <clears throat> We're now going to add that image. So click on the little folder um, to the right of image name, and there, because I put it in that source images folder, it knew exactly where to look. Select create, click on open. And you can see that the texture has been assigned to that. And so if I now find that in here, create M, there it is, I can use the middle mouse button to drag that on. <clears throat> now when I drag that on all it did was make that shape a little bit lighter shade of grey and the reason for that is is that I've not got hardware texturing turned on yet the way to do that is just to press number six on your keyboard and then your texture becomes uh, visible so now all you've got to do is texture the rest of your shapes so I'm just dragging them with the middle mouse button like so that is a damn sexy collection of boxes. I'm a fan of that texture. Okay, um, what I want you to do now is texture the rest of the room, uh, including the planets, using the same method that you've already seen. Uh, you can get all the textures following the link, um, and all you've got to do then is create the materials using the techniques that we've already used. Remember that before you create each new material to clear the work area and make sure that you give each material an appropriate name. Um, and once you've done that, that's this exercise completed I think and we will need to move on to the next one.